Hey there everyone, it's Amy with Momentum Physical Therapy. This is the first installment of our two week headache and migraine special focus. And I wanted to talk today, so starting out day one, I wanted to start talking out about, start out talking about three of the main types of headaches and migraines. So to begin with, again, there are hundreds, if you look at the international classification of headache disorders, there are hundreds of different types of headaches and migraines. So we're really narrowing it down to the most common ones. So the first type of headache that is the most common, but it's actually the least studied type of headache is a tension type headache. And that's a headache that people often describe as a pressing or tightening quality, oftentimes around the entire head. Sometimes people will describe it as like a headband uh, around their head. Some people say it feels like it's like their whole head, like the cap is messing up my hair there, um, pressing on them. And that is thought to be due to increased tightness in muscles of the head and neck and um, around the, the face and jaw. So again, it's the least studied headache type. And I think one of the reasons that may be is because it's not often not severe enough for people to seek treatment for. So perhaps that's why it's one that's the least studied. The second type of headache is a cervicogenic headache, meaning that the problem is actually in the neck, not necessarily in the head. And so a cervicogenic headache, people often describe pain that starts at the back of the head and kind of wraps around, sometimes goes behind or around, um, either behind the eye or in front of the eye, they'll feel pressure there. And what people notice is that oftentimes they'll feel neck pain first and then the headache comes on. Typically it's on one side of the head or it tends to be worse on one side of the head and that side doesn't switch sides. And so what people will also notice is that that headache tends to come on after sustained postures, maybe working at a computer or maybe with their head turned slightly or let's say working, doing a construction project so maybe your neck's in a kind of an awkward position. So they notice increased neck pain and then a headache coming on after these sustained kind of awkward postures. And then the third type of headache is a migraine. So that can be a migraine with or without an aura. And an aura, is most commonly a visual uh, visual interruption, if you will, or visual changes. And again, one of the most common descriptions people have is this zigzaggy lines visually, what they'll see, what they'll get. And that is before the migraine headache begins. So that would be considered an aura. But there are many different types of aura that I'll talk about in future videos. But a migraine tends to be pulsatile in quality, throbbing. It, it inter interferes with daily life or activities, um, exercise or work. And it tends to be on one side or the other, but it can also switch sides. You can have sensitivity to light or sound, nausea, vomiting. It's quite unpleasant. But those are the three main types of headaches. And the, the interesting thing yet challenging thing about headaches is that you can have more than one headache type at one time. So you can have um, a cervicogenic headache, meaning the problem is coming from the neck, as well as a tension type headache or symptoms of both. Or for instance, you could have a migraine and also have cervicogenic influence to that migraine, meaning that there are some, some structures or muscles in the neck that aren't performing as optimally as they could and they are influencing that migraine, or they can be increasing the, the frequency or the intensity of that migraine somewhat. So there is there are effective treatments for almost every type of headache out there, but the key is really determining what type of headache that you are suffering from to begin with, or headache types, because you can be dealing with more than one headache type at one time. Um, and so the key again is just to really determine what type of headache that you're dealing with and then start looking into effective treatments for each type of headache. And it's not uncommon to have headache types misdiagnosed because again, you can have symptoms that overlap different headache types, so diagnosis can be rather challenging. And in physical therapy, what I do here, specializing in the treatments of headaches and neck pain and migraines, is what I do is look for those cervicogenic components, if you will, so either joints or muscles, um, or structures in the, the neck that aren't functionally functioning optimally and we work on getting those to work better 
and that can be a, you know, a significant component of cervicogenic headaches, obviously, because the cervicogenic headache means that the problems in the neck are causing the headache. So those respond very, very well to physical therapy and hands-on treatment. But there are also components, um, cervicogenic components or problems from the neck that influence migraines and tension type headaches that physical therapy can address. And there are also a lot of great things that you can do at home to help with managing these headaches, whatever headache type you have, um, either eliminating them or most likely decreasing their frequency and intensity. And we'll go into that um, later this week. Some specific tips and um, exercises and treatments that you can do on your own at home to start managing these symptoms better so that headaches are not getting in the way of your daily life and enjoying enjoying um, your family and friends and and lifestyle that you have have here in Bozeman. So thanks so much for tuning in for day one. If you have any questions so far, just put them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them quickly. And I look forward to day two where we talk a little bit about the genetic influence in terms of migraines. And then so we'll start working on uh, some treatment techniques and things you can do at home to help manage these symptoms. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.